In this video, we will look at using WebTela policies to prefer certain DCs as exits for different branches. Attached is the topology we will use for this demo. We have two VHs at the branch, VH1 and VH2, and both are advertising the LAN networks. We have VH5 which is in DC1 and VH6 which is in DC2. Both the VHs are advertising the same DC prefix. Now we'll create a policy to prefer DC1 for VH1 at branch 1 and similarly we'll prefer DC2 for VH2 at branch 2. So let's begin. Let's go to networks. Uh, let's go to VH1. Let's go to real time and check for outs. And here we can see that we can are learning the DC prefix from both the VHS in DC1 and DC2 over both the transports. Similarly, let's check on VH2. And VH2 also learns the DC LAN prefix from both the DC VHS. Let's go to troubleshooting. Let's go to simulate flows. And choose a destination on the DC LAN prefix, which is 192.168.252.1. And here we can see that the traffic is actually load balanced to both the DCs over both the transport links. So let's go to policies and define our policy. Let's add a policy here. Let's first create a prefix list for our data center LAN prefix. So let's call it DC prefix. 168.252.0/24. Let's add it. Let's click next. Let's add our first control custom policy. Let's call it prefer DC1. Let's add our first sequence, first rule, and here match on the prefix list which we just created which is our dc lan prefix and match on site just dc1 just nothing but the vh5 and then go to actions accept and set the preference to 100 let's save a policy Let's change the default action to accept. Save. Similarly, let's create our another custom control policy and call this prefer DC2. Let's add a rule and again match on prefix list, which is the same data center plan prefix, and then match a site. And this time it should be DC2. Go to actions, accept, and add the preference value to 100. Save and change the default action to accept. Save a policy, and that's a two control policies. So let's click next. We don't need to create any application of our routing, so we'll click next. Let's assemble a policy here. Let's call this root prefer policy. And let's do it in sequence. Let's prefer DC1 and add a site list to as an outbound site list to which is the site one. Because we want site one to prefer DC1. So click add. Similarly, for prefer DC2 policy, we'll add a site list as site two. Because we want site 2 to prefer DC2. And we are again adding it as an outbound policy. Let's click add. Let's preview our policy. So this is the first control policy which is preferred DC1, which is matching on route, which is the prefix of the data center LAN. It's matching on data center 1, and we are accepting and putting a preference of 100 with the default action of accept. Similarly, we have another control policy for DC2, again matching on the same route, which is the DC LAN prefix and DC2, and setting a preference of 100 
with the default action of accept these are the lists the site list and the prefix list and then we are applying the control policy to site 1 and site 2 preferring dc1 and dc2 respectively let's save our policy and let's activate our policy the policy is pushed so let's go back to networks let's go to vh1 and let's go to our ip routes just in the real time and type ip routes And now we can see that we learn the DC LAN prefix only from DC1 over both the transport links. We no longer see the DC2 route in VH1. And similarly, if you go to VH2, we see that the routes are learned from DC2 and not from DC1. Let's go to troubleshooting and look at the flows and then click 11 just the face destination of 192.62.1 simulate and now it's just load balancing and sending the traffic to dc2 and let's check this from vh1 as well to the same destination and there we can see that it actually sends the traffic to DC1 VH. Let's do a trace route as well to the same destination 192.168.252.1. And here you can see that the traffic hits the DC1, which is 55.1. And if you go to VH2 for the same destination, it goes where 56.1 which is DC2 thus you can see how easy it is to influence preferential routing with Viptela's centralized policy framework that's it for this demo and thanks for watching